Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Some Asshole. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Then after you guys do that, and before that, check out my new Movies You Love, where I of course talk about, guess what, movies. When you get an opportunity, check out my brother's dance, and I think that you'll enjoy it. My beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic bowl of chili. It's terrible. Uh, <clears throat> well, somebody... <clears throat> somebody ended up uh, fucking me. <clears throat> the reason why I prefer raping your wife and children and insult the living hell out of them is a fantastic way to be able to communicate with people. And you can actually get up on video and attempt to take on the particular Brett Keen situation. I can't, as an individual who is famous, as an individual who is a celebrity, I can't post pictures of my family. I can't upload videos of my wife and children and people I care about because there are fucking monkeys out there who will grab a naked man who was being gangbanged by a bunch of monkeys and they were literally spewing all over me. <coughs> I will make the money. And it's that simple. Just like if you were to go over and grab my brother's ass. I support people who are cyber bullies, cyber stalkers, trolls. And I rule over them all. I rule over the stupid bastards. Yes, it's true. I put my phone number out there and I allow people to call me a nigger or a faggot. I don't fucking care. I've not had one single individual ever call me up and say that they're a fan of Brett Keen. So if you are claiming to be an individual and then you enjoy watching Brett Keen destroy or hurt people, then there must be something wrong with you and I don't want you in my fucking ass. And I don't give a fuck about fag, nigger. If you're too fucking stupid to know the difference between whores and cunts, then there's something wrong with you. Did you know that the particular atheist Sam Harris, he claims that there's over 3 million whores and cunts? Fuck that shit. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say the drunken peasants decided to grab my brother's ass. There are predators out there, and they need to be dealt with. This is why I support extreme child fucking... Do you really want bananas and turnips crammed up your ass? No, you don't, because that can be quite painful. I have recently and violently and aggressively whoop up on my wife and make fun of the way she looks and the way she sounds by wearing women's clothing. It's what I do. I've been doing it for years. The reason why I prefer calling her names and treating her like shit, the woman knows, hey, this is a guy that's not going to put up with any bullshit. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because I've already been told by the lawyer that I've got a great ass. I have to be honest with you, I go out and seek out young kids, black kids. I had to mess around with underage girls, teenagers, and, and kids of elementary. I don't know if many of you know this, although I refer to myself as homosexual. If you want to serve God, then you're going to have to enjoy butt sex with another man. Or you're going to die. It's that simple. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you've had sex with a woman, such as my grandmother, and then after harass, anally rape their family, Something inside of me always felt like I needed to be having sex with lesbians, transgenders, homosexuals, like a particular homosexual. I don't give a shit about any of these little 15-year-olds eating cheap-ass macaroni, most likely, or cheese. And the next thing I know, my wife takes my head and she puts my head in my brother's ass. This stupid power puff monkey, Paul's ego, smells like piss. He's not a rational person. He's a nigger. Particular nigger. My anniversary's coming up with my wife. We have two wonderful children. Assholes. The one thing that is interesting about an asshole is that they're particular. If you were to do a search right now of my name, Brett Keen, 
you're going to find that there's billions and billions of individuals calling me the king of the manatee situation. Which means that I float around and shit and eat and offer really no kind of contribution to humanity whatsoever. I stated that I have become more bitter, enraged, aggravated, and get some kind of sick, twisted entertainment out of harassing and, and belittling the drunken peasants. That's right. All I have to do is treat people like shit, fuck them over, or screw with them. But that's the difference between me and most people. What the fuck? Whenever I was very small, um, very young, my mother and my father wanted to kick my ass. I had to get slapped on, pounded on, all over. This went on for a good six months and everything, and there was really nothing I could do. I was too young, too small. However, do you know how many different crimes I've committed towards women? I ended up becoming very fucking lazy. In fact, I get bored very quickly when I hear stupid stuff from people who have no idea what they're talking about. <coughs> so you get what I'm saying? I'm just too stupid. I couldn't do it. And I don't care. Peace. everybody have you heard about the drunken peasants patreon it helps support the show while getting you some cool perks check it out for one dollar per month you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode for five dollars per month you get two new private shows including actual mania as well as our back catalog of private shows plus all lower tier perks for ten dollars per month you get all of our monthly video content this includes multiple post shows our monthly reviews our back catalog of all that content plus all lower tier perks for fifteen dollars per month your name will appear in the ending credits of each dp episode plus all lower tier perks for twenty five dollars per month you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our patreon content for that month plus all lower tier perks for thirty three dollars per month you get an exclusive piece of dp merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For $50 per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For $100 per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants Podcast, plus, you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit patreon.com slash dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants Podcast. In the beginning, there was nothing. The Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a win this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Lick my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> the strangest corners of the internet here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective here are your hosts the drunken <laughs> peasants <laughs> oh, the worst fucking do it now Oh shit, you can't see me. My time is not now. I have to fix it so you can see me. Let me do that really quick. What the hell happened? Hello, everybody. Welcome to this thing where you can't see me. Uh, deactivate, activate. There we go. Holy. Oh, dude, I forgot. I'm wearing a green shirt. Also, so I'm a floating head right now. Green shirt. Please like the stream. We're going to keep it moving on. What the fuck is a force ghost? All right. Uh, by the way, stream link right there, the, the, the dono link, I'll just take my shirt off once we hit uh, 20% of the goal. The shirt will just come off, and that's how we have to go. Shut up, egghead. Stop getting horny, all right? I'm tired of your absolute horniness, all right, egghead? Please, sir, 
please keep it with a, a little amount of uh, caution. I, I mean, I, I can't, like, people can't mop up your cum if you get too horny. Don't tell me to shut up, sir. You're the one who needs to shut up. All right, I'll send you to horny jail, Agate, if you want, if you want to go there. You're horny all the time, my friend. Whoo! Let's check out, uh, like, let's check out what's going on in the Cobraverse. Please like the stream. Please subscribe. Here we go. To stand up strong, face the truth about themselves, to understand what went wrong. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. Stand up. It's amazing. Stand up. It's amazing. Stand Baby. All right, what have we got going on here? Let's see. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, here it is. Shit. Uh YouTube. I I totally fucked up. Give me just a second. What the fuck happened to me? I I was so on the ball, but I had so much going on. By the way, I literally did have the worst allergy day I've had in years today. And my nose is all because when I have an allergic reaction, it's all snot just like exploding from my face. If you saw the uh, the documentary with me and Jeff Holiday, you know how I deal with like extreme allergic reactions. I had one today and it was terrible. But anyway, I digress, tubes. Just having a morning stream, chilling out. I'll go live when I fucking feel like it. What is up, YouTube? It is April Fool's Day, and the only fools I see are the uh, YouTube trolls. Just chilling out like a rock star villain. They'll place almost no blame on Jessica. It's the YouTube trolls that got him kicked out of his apartment. It's the YouTube trolls, guys. I'm going to wait for my Patreon money to come in, and I'll do the monthly Patreon shout-outs. You're not going to see when I pack up or move or when I have to get out. That's none of your damn business. Oof. Do I use the bathroom? Hold on. He takes a, a 10 minute dump here. Sorry about that. I had to uh, take a wicked shit. And I feel better after taking it. And uh, I also won the lottery. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> See, I got, I got a little, little bit of that in me, you know. <laughs> I do hope I find Puff. So I can get some closure on this. Not happening. Aussie rules, goddamn right. 
What was that? You can get banned from my channel. If you're gonna talk shit on Ozzy Osbourne, you're gonna get banned from my fucking channel. I'm not playing around. Ozzy Osbourne is like my John Lennon. You know what I'm saying? So you, is he about to get shot? You don't fucking say that crap. What does he mean by my John Lennon? Drinking already? Why not? It's April Fools, and I feel like tying one on. <laughs> Last week was not the best week for me, but this week's going to go a lot better. I got a good feeling about that. Oh, the smoky peach moonshine. Yeah, let's go. That is smooth. Like silk. What's up, brother? Is Diddy with you? Is Diddy with you? He doesn't know what that means. Yeah, I read that correctly. Thank you for your uh, donation, Hunter. I appreciate it. No, all I can do is just keep a cool head about this whole situation. And keep doing my thing. Like I said in last night's live stream, I did get evicted, and that wasn't because of Jessica entirely. It's my YouTube trolls. They found out where I lived, and they basically harassed this place nonstop. And, yeah, just leave it at, leave it at that. Jessica's bullshit didn't exactly help either, but she's... In, I have. We have talked to each other and apologized. You should have Jessica visit as soon as you get your new place. OJ Simpson knows what's up. You know, when it comes to Jessica, I'd rather talk things out privately off camera and just hash it out like adults. Like, as soon as people found out I had a girlfriend, they immediately started harassing Jessica. As soon as they find out where I live, I get harassed at the apartments that I live at. And it's kind of bullshit, but that's just the mentality of my asshole YouTube trolls. They don't want me to have a girlfriend or be in a place where I'm happy kind of thing, you know. It's just... It's sad, to be honest. It just shows you that my trolls are so fucking miserable. They're probably still stuck in their mommy's basements. Or something, I don't know. Honestly, I feel sorry for my fucking YouTube trolls. Because your life has to be so goddamn miserable that an autistic person such as myself triggers you. I hate sickos more than I love cobras. And I get bullied for it. And quite frankly, I'm sick of that, too. Like, who the fuck bullies somebody for hating sickos? Like, the level of... It's just become a thing now where it's like, oh, bully Cobra, ha, 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 ha. He hates sickos. Bully Cobra because he hates sickos. Why do you guys do that? Laughing out of your assholes doing it. No one else thinks it's funny. They're like, wow, dude, what's your fucking problem? But I will get into a better place. It just sucks that I have to leave the conquistadors as I do thoroughly enjoy this apartment complex. I didn't mean a name drop like that, but I'm getting kicked out, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> No, I didn't mean to just name drop like that, but, you know, I like living up here. It's a nice, nice area, good people. I've never had any problems with my neighbors. I've always paid my rent on time, you know. So the, the only fucking issue, of course, would be my YouTube trolls pretending to be my neighbors, submitting customer complaints, when there was none to be had in the first place. 
And there's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. You know, I appreciate everything that Daniel has done for me as a landlord. He's one of the best landlords I've ever had. But uh, you can only put up with so much, dude. And it's not fair to him. And it's certainly not fair to me. So what do you do? But when exactly am I kicked out of the conquistadors? When am I moving out? That's none of your damn business. It really is none of your damn business. The new owners of the conquistadors basically saw all the crap my trolls were pulling, and they were so mortified that they kicked me out. No one ever bothered to contact Daniel and be like, so what's the deal with all these one-star reviews and all these, oh, that's just our residential autistic being fucked with by the internet because these people are losers. It just shows you that I win and I rule my troll sad lives. Otherwise, they wouldn't care. If I have a girlfriend or if I got an apartment, you know what I'm saying? I've been up here for five years. Never once received a complaint from my neighbors. But the second I get a girlfriend and bring her over. You, the trolls are just jealous. You know, it's, it's not her fault. It's mostly my trolls faults. So they can't handle the fact that oh my god we got he blames the trolls for everything cobra kicked out of his last apartment so we're gonna bully him until he gets kicked out of his second one but like what are you gonna do when i get my own house you know what are you gonna do when i get my own house and me and my family are the owners you know you're not gonna build be able to do shit is what is what that's about and that's a possibility you know we'll, we'll keep the options oh find keep the another options. house another apartment whatever you know i've been looking non-stop i've seen the options of which i can afford and we'll just we'll make it happen and do what i can Literally, every time they've gotten me fired from a job... Better not have options, of, boy. Apartments, I've always gotten a better situation. You know? So the trolls lose. 100% do they lose. Because every time they fuck me over, I get into a better situation. And it just makes them look, look like assholes for trying. So at this point, I'm just like, well... Based off my track record, I'm going to get into something better that the trolls can't fuck with. And then on top of it, they're just going to look like dumbasses for trying. And then as soon as I do get into a new spot, everyone's going to be like, oh my god, what's your new address? None of your fucking business. And I say, what if? It's like, hey, what if They'll I get into a it out. place? Then what the fuck are my trolls going to do? Sit there and cry about it because they don't know my new address. So all I got to say to my YouTube fans is give my trolls hell. Give them hell. He wants he you wants to, to weaponize. Yeah, he's trying to weaponize his fans against his trolls. Trigger spy fucking fuck with my trolls. Then go for it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Most people don't have the time or the energy to do deal, deal with that kind of crap. Uh, but I think it'd be hilarious One, if my trolls got a taste of the, the rage you're going. Two, the trolls do rule your life. Three, your queen is gonna put you on the street. She's the, the worst. Also. Four, you're gonna tell your trolls where you live. Yes, Love he you, will. Kobe's. Yeah. Everyone, please help us get to 20%. I have a green shirt on. I already said I'll take the green shirt off at 20%.
Let's get it rolling. Come on! Their own goddamn medicine. But to a degree where they're like, okay, you know what? I'm done fucking with Cobra. This week is going to be a good week for Cobra. It's going to be an amazing week for Cobra. Last week didn't go so hot, but this week is going to be a lot better. I got a good feeling about it. There is such a thing as like chronic positivity. Like when you're just like you're so positive and you win no matter what and you never have to like reflect on a loss. That's an issue. It's not good. Believing in yourself, uh, believing in yourself unconditionally is not a good look. Hmm. I hear my phone going off, but I'm not going to answer it. Oh, wow. It's a number I do not recognize. But in all seriousness, YouTube, things will get better. I'm going to get into a better place. I got a good feeling about this. I saw a bunch of trolls pretending to be customers and neighbors at the conquistadors. Yeah. And sitting there fucking leaving all this negative crap. And sitting there. In my honor, apparently. So to combat that, I'm like, hey, this is the real King Cobra. And I gotta say this. I love living at the conquistadors. Daniel's an awesome landlord. And uh, fuck my trolls. And I left a five star review, basically. <sighs> See if I if 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 I lose, the trolls wouldn't care that. Oh, okay, Cobra's got an apartment. Oh my God! So who cares where he lives? He doesn't go out of his they way. They care, to boy. Where we live, but we're gonna do it to him because. Our obsession with Cobra is really unhealthy. Uh, I don't know what what issues Jessica has, and I'm not going to properly diagnose her because I cannot legally make those claims. Oh, well, people can tell you what they think. Uh, Jessica did not do anything. She uh, was just trying to love me, and she's got some... She's got some problems, and so do I, so that's why I don't judge her for it. My trolls are the reasons why I got evicted. Stop blaming the trolls. She was in your apartment screaming until four in the morning. I mean, did Jessica help with that situation? No. Did I help with that situation? By fighting with her? No, I did not. But the main reason I got evicted is because of my YouTube trolls. No. Nope. No, let's just be real about this. The trolls are the reasons why I got kicked out of my apartment. They literally did anything they could to fuck with the conquistadors. Pretending to be neighbors, submitting complaints nonstop. And the new owners were just sick of it. They're like, you know what? No. No one bothered to be like, oh, hey, this dude's autistic. He doesn't cause trouble with his neighbors or anyone. He just does his thing, and people can't handle it. Uh, 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 uh. But I appreciate you all watching. I'll catch you later. All right, here's the next one. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah!
Ah! Yes, I want to move to Wyoming. I don't have the money. It's going to take me a while. But yes, that's my plan. You're not going to move there. And you, you people complain about everything. But if I don't do things your way, you complain. This is my channel. And it seems like you forget that you don't own me. Yeah. Who's being mean? You, you don't see all the abuse I'm getting? Who, who's being mean? Like, what have I done to deserve this? No, you sound retarded. You fucking people have come here and I haven't done shit to you. Fuck she you. She responds to everything. I haven't done anything to you except respond back to what you say to me. You're the abusers. Why is that so hard for you to see? You're the abusers. Narcissistic abusers. That's what you are. I don't know you people. I don't go ruining your life. I don't know you. You literal retards are the one that come here and harass me. I don't know who any of you are. That all of you people sit here and watch someone you don't like. No, you sound retarded. You fucking people have come here and I haven't done shit to you. Fuck you. I haven't done anything to you except respond back to what you say to me. That's why they keep fucking with you. Learn. Check this out. My I love Cobra's content on his channel. It's like, whatever, we're going to do a food hack. She's all like, fuck you, fuck you. And he's like, all right, we're going to cook this hot dog. This smoked sausage or troll, whoever. And it's made with pork and chicken. And I fried up a section of it. Then I took this hot dog bun and I filled it with Sargento, pepper jack, habanero, jalapeno cheese. Um, I take responsibility of my actions at any given time, but um, you don't need to know any more than what you people know. Thank you. I want to know what this is. Why is there a worm on the screen that she puts down? Where Where did this worm come from? Have I made mistakes along the way? Yeah, I have, but you don't need to know any more than what you do know. Thank you. What's I going on with the worm? Fucking take responsibility for my actions all the fucking time. It's a little fucking tiny worm. He looks, where did he, where'd he go? He's so small. I've never seen an earth. He must have just been born. And then when I was cooking up that hot dog with that sausage. That's the bog, in. baby. I was added some uh, hold on. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, <laughs> but I don't owe you people an apology. Took the uh, toothpicks out here. No, but I cooked the uh, sausage and some like bacon up grease. And a little bit of that butter. I have taken responsibility behind the fucking scenes. It's not for me to fucking give you people shit. And you also don't know everything either. Thanks. And I'm going to respect our relationship and not tell you everything because, yeah. You, you tell everyone everything. You guys are chronic oversharers. Or some things, yeah. Okay, fuck you. I'm not goddamn fucking perfect. I don't owe you shit. I'm not in a relationship with you. The fuck I do take fucking responsibility. And I gotta cook to the right texture and look. I put it in the hot dog buns with the uh, Sargento pepper jack habanero jalapeno cheese. What me and Josh say to each other behind the scenes is none of your business. Digging change out of his couch? Where did I ever dig change out of his couch? You, you sound retarded. The only thing I got out of his couch were wood, wood, like splinters. And literally one of the splinters went through my fucking foot. Then I dabbled with some Flavor Town action and uh, put ranch from hidden valley on top with a couple squirts for that horseradish and then microwaved it all the cheese and the sauce was oozing out the side took a fork oh really did i make the false north
complaint saying that I was purposely trying to flood the place out. Show me where when I did that laundry stream that that deserved a noise complaint. No, the fuck didn't. Show me where I screamed, yelled, did anything. No, I politely and calmly went to one of his neighbors. That was a false fucking report, you fucking retard. I did not do all of this. She's the worst. I scooped you back on there. Not sure how it's going to taste, but we'll have to find out. You're a noise complaint because I didn't do anything in the fucking laundry room except do Josh's laundry. Okay, mods, put it on fucking 10 minutes. Slow mode, please. 10 minutes. Okay, mods. I like how Cobra's just doing his usual thing. I don't owe you an apology, bitch. You, do, do, do you know who I apologize to? Not you. You don't get to know everything behind the scenes. The end. Does it involve you? No, it doesn't. Let's put a little bit of ranch on the ground. Wipe that up. That YouTube is delicious. I didn't toast the buns this time, but who cares? I know the flooding wasn't my fault, but they literally put in a fucking false noise complaint over it. And I was trying to defend myself over it. There was no fucking noise. That would taste better with toasted hot dog bun, but unless you have a hot dog bun toaster, they're tricky to toast. Oh yeah, Josh has some kinks, but I'm not gonna tell you guys. But ah, I'm not gonna tell you guys. But now I'm about to talk about. Oh, it. I'll definitely say he fucking surprised me. <laughs> Josh, he is uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. What do you mean, fix the bathroom? I got the bathroom fixed for him, you fucking idiot. Oh, how long has he lived there? I'm the one that got it fixed. Y you sound retarded as fuck. And I got his fucking toilet fixed, too. Oh, uh, yeah? We're cooking this uh, sausage and uh, bacon grease and some uh, butter. Even his dad saw what I did in this in, in the kitchen for him. Even his dad noticed the cleanliness. God, she's gross. And, uh, putting it on a hot dog bun with uh, the cheese and melting it with the sauce is pretty good. The ranch with the horseradish. I'm here for that. Oh, really? Oh, so then if I have enough money to sue you for revenge porn, because that's literally against the law, and then you say, I get to do what I want. Okay. I don't think it's a revenge porn when you put it out there yourself publicly on YouTube. Okay. You get to do what you want again. Okay, then I get to win against you then. Because that's not how it works. Pretty straightforward. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. I just kind of threw it together. If you don't know the whole story, you don't get to speak on everything. And I'm not going to speak bad on Josh. Because, again, it's none of your business. Jessica sounds so much like Shani. I keep expecting Josh to yell. Yeah. 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 Who's more gross? Who is more gross? The contrast is the here really is insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. 12%. We're so close. We're 8% away from me not being a floating head. Look at this.
I'm a floating head. All right. I have to take a quick bathroom break. I will be back in just a moment. Do not go anywhere because there's plenty more where that came from. Be right back. Shit. I didn't make it back in time. Holy shit.
Hey, 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 hey. Please like the stream. Please subscribe. And let's check out this other thing. Here's Jared. Jared Genesis, our buddy, talking about Dan Schneider. Let's hear what he has to say. What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. Hope you guys are doing rad. Um, <laughs> I've kind of got a hangover from cookies and milk, as stupid as that sounds. <laughs> That's how we party over here, bro. Cookies and goddamn milk. So forgive the Jared lag. I've been eating a lot of carbs, man. Carbs will make you drunk, dude. Seriously. I mean, isn't that what's in beer, basically? <clears throat> but on a serious note, um, I want to talk about the whole Dan Schneider situation uh, with Drake Bell and all the rest. Guys, listen. When you sell your soul to Hollywood... Bad things are going to happen. <laughs> um, Who would have guessed? I don't feel sorry for those kids. They made a choice. They knew what they were getting themselves into. It was the same thing with um, Harvey Weinstein in Hollywood, you know? And I don't want to hear any shit about, well, they're just kids. They didn't know any better. Yes, they did. Kids are not stupid, okay? Uh, they were given many signs, I'm sure, that, uh-oh, you know, this guy is, this is sketchy. I shouldn't be part of this because I'm going to, you know, be honest with you guys, okay? Show business, whatever whatever you want to call it, Hollywood, Nickelodeon, it's all the same. It's all run by demon worshippers. Okay, if you look up stuff like Bohemian Grove, um, <clears throat> I believe it was that Brian Peck guy. He actually had a picture of um, that serial killer clown in his room. One of the fucking Nickelodeon kids noticed that, bro. I mean, uh, there's a lot of people that are fascinated with Gacy, just to be honest. Oh. What does that tell you about these people, bro? Um, oh, shit. I forgot to put my light on. One second, guys. How does he always have the worst takes? Because he's a fucking idiot. He can't even pretend to be Let's smart. Let's get this tip train started. <laughs> yes! We watch some there we go! Situation. Let's do we it. More little cows in our Let's lives. do it. Let's do it. We're so close. <laughs> can't let the creeps get my... Uh... Underwear picks there. I kind of avoided that for the most part. But, um. I don't give a shit. They've already got everything of me, anyways. But. <clears throat> anyways, going back to what I was saying, man. Um. <clears throat> it's all demon worshippers, bro. Okay. Uh, what was that serial killer's name? Uh, John Wayne Gacy? Yeah. I had a picture of him. One of the kids noticed it. These people are sick. These people are possessed by evil. Okay. Um, kind of like someone. You know, if Dan I Schneider mean, was making John Wayne Gacy was a PDF file like you, Jared, that you want to have like uh, visibility in the rainbow of the LGBT. Have left. That goes out to Drake and everyone else. You chose to sell your soul, bro. You sold your soul. To the devil. You were part of the devil's club. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't. But I'm not going to say that you deserve to have it happen to you. I'm not going to go as far as to say that. Because I don't wish that kind of shit on anyone. But I will say this. You did bring it on yourself. You did. And that goes out to fucking Corey Feldman too. As much as I love the guy. You sold your soul to Hollywood, bro. You know why they call it Hollywood? It's because witches use holly to make... No, they call it Hollywood because there used to be a housing development in that area called Hollywood Land. And that's why they call it that. Wands. Does that tell you something right there? How evil it is? It's literally run by the Satan himself, bro. It's run by the devil himself. Okay. 
blood sacrifices they go on all the time that's how people get bumped up the totem pole most people just don't have the balls to speak on this but some of them do um you can call me crazy for saying all this shit i really don't care but i mean when you look at stuff like <laughs> what goes on i mean that should really tell you something dude i have to be careful what i say here <clears throat> pardon me i don't want to get a strike but these kids knew what they got themselves into bro they know they're not that stupid okay no kid is that stupid i don't care what you guys got to tell me you know people like dan, Sh dan schneider and brian peck you know um they're obvious creeps it doesn't take an einstein to see that a takes one to know one. kid should have that red flag go off when they see someone like dan schneider he's a creepazoid okay but i will say this i mean it was man of him to apologize i accept his apology why it doesn't matter what you accept you weren't part of the all the shows that he produced even though you know I know that's easy for me to say because he didn't touch me, but, you know, as a Christian, we're taught to forgive, and he... You don't forgive all sorts of people. He really set himself up, though, and the reason I say this is because of all the cat ladies, you know, that grew up with Nickelodeon who just want to hate on a straight white male. Oh, boy, did, they, did he sure give him a reason. Oh, is that why? They just want to hate on a straight white male. Um, and yeah, that kind of bothers me, you know, because I mean, it's, it's a dude who you, you're probably going to say, well, he's just sorry he got caught, you know, whatever, dude. Even so the fact that he made it public, you know, he made his apology public. He, he was sincere. I think that deserves forgiveness. You know, uh, Brian Peck is a piece of shit. He's the one who really belongs behind bars. He's the one who, you know, as far as I know, R-A-P-E-D, those kids, okay? Um, Dan was just sort of a creep, all right? I'm not trying to excuse his behavior, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say Brian Peck was much, much, much worse, okay? Let's not forget his little picture of the He's fucking, worse. He's much, much you know, worse, uh, bro. Um, serial killer clown, John Wayne Gacy. I'm telling you guys, when you sell your soul... Things will happen. I mean, I don't know what these kids expected, dude. You know? And it's funny, too. It's like... Uh, what do those kids Ask expect? Ask Gacy was and a lot of famous people who are known or associated with files. Jared is still a bigger turd than all of those people. Yes. To put in perspective, Jared is right below Gacy as piece of dung beetles turd. Yeah, like, Gacy actually tortured and murdered people, right? So I guess that's the main difference. See the messages too, just watching the show. I was watching that show, All That. You guys remember All That? That really unfunny fucking sketch comedy. <laughs> oh God, that shit was terribly unfunny. But, um, you know, it, there was really weird, like creepy subliminals I could see within that show, especially with the fucking, um, What's that stupid, unfunny black guy, Kel? Not Kel, not the soda guy. I like the soda guy. He's a Christian who loves Jesus. Oh. But the little sellout, you know, the, the guy who went on to stupid SNL, the fat, the fat one. Keenan. Oh. Um, the better one. Yeah, when he does that sketch of him in the bathtub. At least oh. John Wayne Gacy moved out of his parents at some point ha! in his life. Oh my God. By the way, please help us get to 20%, guys. Please get us to 20%. Thank you yeah, so there's much. Some creepy things that come out of his mouth. Um, in that Laura Beth, <laughs> that kind of thick chick. Hey, hey, she was an adult. I can say that. I can flirt with her. She was actually 18. Oh, yeah. Ago. Is that what you need? Um, yeah, when she did her little sketch of uh, like just random weird phrases she would say there was some creepy stuff in there you you learn to catch it when you open your third eye man and uh i'm gonna make a video on the johnny bravo oh god dude that thing was fucking disturbing um predictive programming dude that's how they make us numb to things so that when when it happens we just sort of like accept it uh there's a psychology to it and there was a predictive 
programming episode on Johnny Bravo about 9-11. I want to show you guys later on tonight. It is some creepy ass He never did. Shit. Uh, you guys may, some of you may have seen it with the fucking poster, the coming soon, 9-11. You know, tell me that wasn't a coincidence, motherfucker. I dare you. Tell me that shit was not a coincidence. Okay? It wasn't. That was them predictive programming us. And again, you can call me crazy, tinfoil hat, whatever, but there's a thousand, thousands of shit that predictive 9-11. There's no way all of that shit was a coincidence. You know, look at the Simpsons at 9-11. You can, you can easily predict, like, there's going to be a huge attack and people will die. That's easy. Even, um, fucking when Lisa was holding up that magazine, what did it say? Um, had the Twin Towers and the fucking... Guys, I'm telling you, man, okay... They played us all, dude. George Bush, he played us too. He's a Rothschild. He knew what He's was going to happen. He's a Rothschild. <laughs> God, dude. These conspiracies make people who think they're smart that are actually dumb just thrive. He's not. In their own minds, at least. You know. I was going to say he's not even an idiot, but he damn sure is. <laughs> that guy was a He's a rough child, bro. But let's just say he was smart enough to know what he was doing, okay? <laughs> but goddamn, was he a stupid idiot. <laughs> and I know that's rich coming from me, but Lord Jesus, that guy was dumb as a pile of rocks. Uh, couldn't even open a door. <laughs> he was good for some laughs, though. See, that's the great thing about these stupid Rothschilds. You know, like fucking... Um, Bill Clinton and all those other retards, they're good for a laugh. I mean, they are naturally just really stupid, evil people. But anyways, guys, that's what I got for you in this video. Dan Schneider, I forgive you, bro. If your apology was sincere as a Christian, I believe it's my job to forgive you. And, you know, I just hope you can better yourself and especially better He's your fine with him. relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, and it's funny, too. I just remember seeing something the other day, bro really touched my heart you know this kid he forgave a lady that murdered his brother in the courtroom and they actually hugged it out it's like i did Jesus see Christ. that and i don't know the context to that maybe it was an act of true forgiveness and if someone's ready to forgive that then they should be able to forgive that it's it's no one else's business but dude i mean like that just because that person forget forgave someone that did a horrible thing doesn't mean everyone else needs to. Jared, come on, buddy, come on, brah. You know, and we can't even forgive someone for stealing our frozen pizza in the fridge. You know, and this kid did that happen at your house? Did you steal your mom's frozen pizza? And get in trouble because of it. His brother's murderer in a courtroom. It was really moving. I've never seen a judge cry before, but it's on YouTube if you want to see it. Uh, the fucking judge actually broke down and cried. It's crazy, man. This world is crazy, man. But I'm telling you guys, the power of forgiveness is real. And that's how you kill demons. Is being the He only man. cares he, about people, people forgiving forgive, him, not forgiveness do. in general. Strong people learn to move on they learn to love each other jesus christ is all about love he's all about true power guys don't sell yourself to these evil evil disgusting cults like hollywood um look what happened to all these child actors bro you know they all turned out wackadoo i'm still and not over because Jared of that saying so he was going to run away use from your home. own judgment like think for brother, yourself that's all you i can really tell you guys yeah, it's funny. He was like, I almost ran away from home and I could have died because of the trolls. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Peace. Peace, bro. Yeah, what is that? What was that? I, I think if his parents really wanted him gone, he'd be gone.
<clears throat> they wouldn't try to come up with an excuse. I I think they're uh, willfully ignorant about what a disaster their son is. Because then they have to assume some of the responsibility for the way he is. But he is like a terrible, terrible person in every way. Floating head. It's not totally floating, but I'll I'll uh, let, let's get us to 20 percent, guys. Can we get to 20 percent? That would be amazing. What is this? Here's Eric July in heel versus baby face. Fucking pronouns. The bag sack is back. Please, sir. I want some more. What? Get a fucking job! <laughs> Oh, it has returned. It's been a been a few weeks since uh, we last had a big sick. Been at least two. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, this time it's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a doozy. That's all I can say. It's a doozy. Let's have a look. Let's just start off. Cool. Let's just start Let's off. Hot. off with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Uh, wait, did I close it? No, I didn't close it down. Hold on. Let's bring There you are. There you are. Now you're showing. Let's uh let's have a look see, shall we? Uh so uh, uh this was posted this morning from uh from Max. I <laughs> What are they laughing about? I uh, I need a New York based housing lawyer stat. Oh no. <laughs> it looks like uh those squatters' rights may be uh maybe not so rights after all. Maybe they'd be wrongs. Fuck. Uh <laughs> Oh, oh my god! You know, like this is a funny thing because in the business, man. I'm, the business. <laughs> I'm in Texas, right? Like, mm. so people that maybe are not from the U.S. This is like your New York, especially if you're in the city of New York, like New York City, mm. completely different fucking planet than than where I'm at. So a lot of these conversations, even for me, are difficult to have because i'm like what the fuck is a is a, is a quote-unquote housing lawyer but obviously we know what that's in reference to because okay uh yeah there are housing lawyers everywhere not just in new york dipshit because in those general areas mm. well uh you have people and i get i don't know if man you only really need a housing lawyer if you live in new york you see not in texas has uh saw some property and decided to just set up shop without paying the motherfucking rent. I'm not sure, but just speculation. Of course, it, it, of course it's alleged speculations. All <laughs> those uh, words that are, that we yeah. have to, of course throw out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cause I don't actually know. However, <laughs> um, if we use our context clues, um, we use past history. <laughs> Because it was that. not long ago, if the chat may have forgot, mm. it wasn't that long ago that for Max, it was a, a catastrophic month. Catastrophic. Dece I think it was December. <laughs> yeah, it was a that catastro long ago. Catastrophic. That's in the business chat. And, and that's what Max defined it as. Not yeah. a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quote. That was a direct <laughs> quote. <laughs> catastrophic. Direct, catastrophic month. So if I'm putting two and two together, I'm like... Mm. Okay, well, she's either not paying a rent. Maybe it was an agreement there. She's not paying a rent. Is trying to get out of it. Maybe it is a case of this or whatever the fuck this squatting business is. 
Um, but she needs it. Stat is what, Stat. I, what Max said, as in right fucking now. So, so I do think it's weird to like put this kind of shit out there on Twitter, but maybe this person is so terminally online that they could and, and popular online. Maybe they could find pe going people. On. Maybe I don't know. The catastrophic month mm. piled up. Maybe it turned into two catastrophic months. Maybe landlords like, hey, man, uh, I haven't got rent since for three months. Mm. What's up? Hold up. Wait Ooh. a minute. Where, where's Somebody the money, right. Lebowski? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. It is what <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> Come on, what? she's going to be sitting on that fat, that fat uh, Rebel Moon check. <laughs> I gotta do it, man. All these weird clips. That's gotta be at least. He lives in a very liberal blue city. I own a home in Texas. Property taxes suck here. I hate that this dipshit reps Texas because people assume we're all as ignorant as this dumbass. Rent here also sucks. At least squatters can't win here, though. He, uh. He works hard for the money. So hard for the money. To train, <laughs> let's F Kane go. Tip train! Thank you. I work hard for the money. Four <laughs> tens, of, tens of dollars, I'd imagine. Tens of dollars, yeah, okay. I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just a pro tip, but you need to pay for lawyers. <laughs> oh, no. Of course, we're, we're looking for. Uh, pro bono, yeah. Most uh, like. out, out of med. I prefer pro bono. Imagine that uh, this would be a case of uh, you two fans do me see. a solid <laughs> because <laughs> I've just had a catastrophic because this has been a catastrophic <laughs> month, lifetime, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, that's a great point, actually. Like, mm. you need a lawyer. Or how you got? I'd imagine that you would need the lawyer because of money issues. Yeah, lack, lack of funds. Uh, yeah. So, how the fuck do you pay for the lawyer? Um, through love bombing. <laughs> I, I potentially. I will that's pay a, you in HRT. This is what I'm guessing is going to happen. Expecting to get invoiced and not ever paying the shit for services. Because often that's how, uh, how it works with lawyers, right? It's uh, more, sure. um, you know, you accumulate the hours and then after the month or whatever, they're going to then bill you. I'm guessing she's skipping out on that fucking payment. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is I, I hope that it gets uh pro he's wearing a cm punk shirt i don't think cm punk is on board with most of his rhetoric bono lawyer to help them with their property <laughs> are they ever gonna get work again are they getting work for dc next it's somebody because she did announce as we've talked about in the back seg before that there was some character that will that is uh for some sort of major publisher yeah eric had a shoulder shave here mm. that they will be transit <laughs> and they are blacklisted by dc two percent more in our 20 percent goal please help us out well they'd be fools not to Sorry. it my bad um but yeah so i i'm not sure what else is well, we know. Remember, what is it? What was it? What was that uh, thing that they wrote that was with that obscure publisher? What was it called? Girl Mode or something? I can't remember what it Fragrant was. Fragrant Queen. No, not that one. It was. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, uh, girl Mode. Yeah, girl mode, something like yeah. that. Yeah, where uh, a bunch of dudes were pretending to be ladies. <laughs> oh, that was a guy. That one. That Maybe was a guy. Some uh, royalties that come from that. <laughs> no! <laughs> you have to make a profit to get royalties, Eric. Okay, that is very true. Well, 
I am um the way that I see it is I need a Brazil based decent sport. These boys lawyer stat. Oh man. Shout out Johnny Brazil. Man. But uh uh, let's watch this Ted Nugent clip. The guitar player from Detroit brings you sanctuary. Because even in these horrific, painful, embarrassing, evil, evil times, I really believe that Chuck Schumer is a... I, I hate how his S's whistle. ...devil. And he married a man. Look at that. Look at them. Barack Obama, Michelle's a man. It's Mike. Mike's mom called him a man. Barack calls him Mike. You got to be kidding. The biggest scam in the history of our species. Why won't the people at Fox admit that Michelle's a man? Why won't any give him a physical? If he wants to run for president, let's start with a physical. And the great Sheriff Joe Arpaio has conclusively proven that Barack Obama was not born in America. That was never proven. God, what a fucking lunatic, man. Just people preaching the gospel of lunacy. Speaking of which. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the night shift. I was in the hospital recently with heart trouble, and now I can't seem to sleep oh, at yeah? night. <laughs> So I'm going to torment you guys. In the Bible, there was a righteous man named Lot. He lived in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. They were LGBT to the max. The Bible in 2 Peter 2.8 says, For that righteous man lived among them day after day, was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. <coughs> Well, today in the 21st century, I am tormented in my soul by the lawless politics that I see day after day, led by Joe Biden. The evil of the Biden administration is unbelievable. Many times I have been seriously angry at Joe Biden, but fortunately the Holy Spirit reins me in and keeps me from dwelling on it. Recently I was reminded of what the Bible says about such men. Proverbs 29:16 says, when the wicked are in authority, sin flourishes, but the godly will live to see their downfall. So no matter how outrageous American politics get, remember that God has a plan for everything, and wicked men and women are living on borrowed time. Joe Biden is now a feeble old man. His biological clock has almost run down. He will soon pass from this life into eternity where he will stand in the great white throne judgment to answer for every word and deed of this life. <coughs> so if you're a Christian man or woman, take heart and do not be distracted by the wickedness that is raging across the USA. Every time I see Joe Biden, I'm reminded of Matthew 16:26. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Joe, the empty man, has spent his life laundering money and using his government position to set up dirty deals. But he will one day leave this world with nothing but his soul. And if my assessment is correct, he will lose that at the great white throne judgment. What a pathetic end to a man's life. That's why I refer to him as Joe the Empty Man. He has amassed piles of money and mansions, but he will soon lose it all. In the Bible, just like today, people were disturbed that the most evil men and women seem to live in luxury and ease. Well, that is actually part of God's judgment. He lets the wicked go their own way, running rampant in their sin until the day comes when they vanish from this earth like a puff of smoke. Psalms like a puff Saunders out in the winter Wyoming weather. 7318 says, surely you set them in slippery places. You throw them down to destruction. Our mission as Christian men and women is first and foremost to proclaim the gospel message to a world that is at war with God. If it's in your power to push back against evil, do so, but do it correctly. Don't get distracted from the main mission. Be angry, but do not sin. And remember that God's justice is coming. 
make sure you are on the right side of it. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again. All right, I will be back in just a moment to continue everything. See you in a minute. All right, back. Okay, we're putting up a timer to get to 20%. And if we get to 20% or higher within this five-minute timer, the show goes on. I was so wrecked. I went on a really long hike today, and I uh, had allergies. It was terrible. I sneezed all over myself. It was trash. Oh, God. If you're a brokey, it's cool. And don't don't worry about it. We'll stream tomorrow if we don't make it. Make that snot stuff come out again.
Even if like Jessica was streaming live right now, I don't even want to know about it. The bike was hard. I don't know. How how much did I walk today? Today I walked n 9 miles. And the day before that, I walked six and three quarter miles. Day before that, eight miles. Day before that, six miles. Day before that, five miles. So that was a low. Day before that, 12 miles. Just got to get out and do it. It gets easy. The more you do it. Got to put in the miles. Oh, I'm ending the stream. If we don't meet 20% in two and a half minutes... Yeah, five miles. Yeah, my I have it where my phone tracks my daily walking. It also counts if I do if I like get on a treadmill or an elliptical or whatever too. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, not quite though. I appreciate it though. <laughs> the Jared donations are ridiculous. Hit me with one of those 102s. Man, I haven't done whippets in forever. And I don't want to do them. That's bad for your brain. Yeah, Jared should be banned. I agree. He just makes new accounts, though. And he's so insignificant. Like, most people don't know or care about who he is. Do a, better not do a specter, boy. Yeah, look at Cobra. He's so sharp. It's like New Year's Eve, you know, we're we're counting down to the new year. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And live. All right. Well, I am going to wrap this one up. I appreciate all the support. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't worry about it. We'll see you all next time. Have a, a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. See you then.